Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm not 100% sure what the person is asking. They're designing a poker chip, working out the length of this outside line from node to node. Anyone have any idea how this is done? The pink arrow. It's 40 millimeters. I drew a 40 millimeter, I had to change it to millimeter, but I got a 40 millimeter circle. I'm just going to draw another one to show you how I got to it. My ratio is locked, so it'll be 40 millimeter. Go to a range and convert it to a curve. Then go to your Windows, Dockers, Object Properties, and click on this right here, and it shows you that the length of this curve is 1.25681. Divide that by 300, or 360 divided by the number you get with 2.864 times they're 4.82, which they want for a spacing. I'm guessing that's what they're asking right here. Is 12.3 degrees. And it worked out perfectly. I turned this one at an angle of 4.3 degrees. So your circle is 125.6 something. But look how close that is so i don't know if that's really what they're asking but you can use math to figure things out and the, the way i did this right here i'm going to put this in the center of the page which it is i'm going to draw a line and see it says center i'm going to hold the i'm going to hold the control button get a line get in the center i don't know why that's doing that let me zoom in here, get a two-point line. You ought to be able to just take a line. There we go. Then hold down the control button. That line should be in the center. Then double control D and make a duplicate of it. Hit your rotation in the center. It doesn't look like it's in the center, but when you rotate it, it is. And then rotate that 12.03 degrees. And there's your space right there. Now, there's different, you know, is this 4.82 millimeters as a straight line or as a curved line? So to figure that out, take your virtual segment delete key and delete all this. Delete these two upper lines. Now, what is the length of this line? It's only 4.2. So I don't really 100% understand that. I'm pretty sure my math is correct. And it did relatively fit. But I, I don't really understand their question. I'm still kind of waiting to get back on it. And also, it's, it's not a perfectly round circle on their picture compared to mine. And we could probably nudge the picture over a little bit more. See what my nudge factor is set on. Whoop, I'm grabbing the circle. You see, it's not exactly as Q. That's about as close you're going to get it. And that's about the same distance. It's hard to say with the picture. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.